So welcome back to Bangkok and the Impact Arena, the venue for three weeks of world-class badminton. We're very privileged to be here in Thailand for these three weeks. And this is the most magnificent venue uh, to stage the sport of badminton. Well, that's what's happened so far. We've had both of the mixed doubles semi-finals, and it means that we'll have the number one and two seeds playing against each other in tomorrow's final. The dream run of the World Junior Champions in the men's doubles came to an end today at the hands of the Olympic silver medalists, Govi Shem and Tam Wee Kiong. Then in the women's doubles with Polly and Rahayu, Polly has a chance to make history tomorrow because she's going for a fourth title here at the Thailand Open, a third with her partner Rahayu. They overcame the Koreans in three very tough games, an hour and 15 minutes for that. And as we've just seen in the women's singles, Carolina Marin, the Olympic and three-time former world champion, coming through against the 18-year-old Korean. So that's what we've got to come. We've got men's doubles next and the All England semi-finalists, Lee Yang and Wang Chi Lin, up against Choi So Gu and So Siang Jae in their first Super 1000 semi-final. Then it's women's doubles and home interest here. Of course, there was home interest in the first match of the day in the mixed doubles. Kitty Harakun and Projongjai are in their third semi-final here, but looking to reach their first final at their home event. They're up against Kim and Kong from Korea. Then it'll be women's singles and the world number one, Tai Su Ying, looking to reach a fourth consecutive final in tournaments played. She's up against the European Games gold medalist. Mia Blickfeld. Then men's singles, and this is a repeat of last Thailand Open men's singles final. Hung Ka Long of Hong Kong up against the defending champion Chu Tian Chen of Chinese Taipei. Then we finish with the second of the men's singles, the Asian Games bronze medalist Anthony Sinisuka Ginting up against Victor Axelson, the former world champion and former world number one who won the All England title, the last Super 1000 event prior to this. So this is the men's doubles draw from the quarterfinal stage. Three pairs from Malaysia, two from Indonesia, so five different nationalities. Only three seeds though, and all three seeds, as you can see, in the bottom half of the draw. So uh, with the Olympic silver medalists, Govi Shem and Tamwi Kiong coming through in under 30 minutes against the reigning world junior champions. It's time for us to see who will join the Malaysians in tomorrow's final. The reigning world. Reigning world lost Taipei Li Yang and Wang Chi Lin. Their opponents from Korea. It's the second semi final of the day for. Sua Sung Jae with his men's doubles partner Choi Sogu. Choi is already been a winner at this event, the Thailand Open, won the mixed doubles title in 2015, playing with Umhe Won. Beat a certain Praveen Jordan with his former partner Debbie Sutanto in the final six years ago. Well, as you can see, this is the fifth meeting between these two pairs and the Koreans have a 3-1 advantage. But I think what is of most is the fact that they've won the last three encounters. Last time they met, as you saw, was in the Chinese Taipei Super 300 event of 2019. 
it was actually in the semi-final stage and they had to come from 15-18 down and 18-20 down, saving two match points before eventually beating Li Yang and Wang Chi Lin 23-21 in an hour and 17 minutes. If we have a match that's half as good as that, we are in for a real treat. pair obviously a left and right handed combination but let's look at the number six seeds first Li Yang is 25 years of age currently number seven in the world ranking they were 70 weeks before the rankings were frozen at their career high of seven making just their second appearance here at the Thailand Open as a combination Wang Chi Lin is 25, but he will turn 26 on Monday, two days' time. Wouldn't it be wonderful to have an early birthday present by competing in tomorrow's final? He's been as high as four in the world with former partner Chen Hung Ling, with whom he also won a World Championship bronze medal in 2018. Now, looking at their path through to today's semi-final in the first round, they beat the European champions, a repeat of the 2020 Spain Masters final and got revenge over the Danes. Then in the second round, a pair promoted from the reserve list, Jomko and Kedurin. Then in the quarterfinal, beat Ong Yu Sin and Tiu Yi Yi. They're coming from 1920 down, having to save a game point in the opening game, but winning in two straight in the end. So Choi Sulgu is 25 years of age, born in Seoul, and he and his partner are one place down from their career high of number seven. To play. Just one week at number seven on the rankings and at number 17 on the race to the World Tour Finals, which happen in the third week of these three weeks of international badminton. So they beat Canadians Hoshu and Yakora in the first round, tie opposition in the second round, but look at the quarterfinal against the reigning world champions and number two seeds, Hassan and Setiawan, in just 38 minutes, two straight games. So that's a, a wonderful result for the Koreans. And it's a welcome return to form, I think, for the Koreans as well, because whilst they only played four tournaments in 2020, they never got past the second round. In fact, they haven't been past the second round since they were beaten in the final of the 2019 Said Modi Super 300 event. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Wang Chiling and Liang, Chinese Taipei. And my left, Choi Soljio and Seo Seung Jae, Korea. Seo Seung Jae to serve to Wang Chi Ling. Love all. Play. So the Koreans getting this semi final underway. They're the number seven seeds against the number six seeds from the Chinese Taipei. Now, Steen, of course, uh, Li Yang and Wang Chi Ling One, have love. been in a super. 1000 event semi final uh, previously. That was the All England last year, whereas for the Koreans, this is their first ever appearance at a Premier Super Series All World Tour Super 1000 event semi final. Does that make a difference? Do they, uh, get a little One. bit nervous, oh. perhaps? I don't think they do. I don't think uh, they're thinking too much about it when, uh, when going on court. Save it over. It's difficult to say, Two, of course, but one. I, I would think they would be more prone to think about it. Would it be the uh, All England or um, um, the Indonesia Open or, or China Open? The regular Save it over. Super Thousands. Two, uh, this is this bubble tournament. Not not to think less of it, but it's just like I mean, this is a tournament that it's never been played before. It's it's something completely new. And, um, I think it's everybody's chance to... Save it over. Three, two, to I win am, it. 
I understand what you mean because if you if you called well, Wimbledon tennis, if you if you said it's moved to Birmingham, does it hold the same status? No. Um, of course it does in as far as ranking points and, and so on, but there's a tradition here. But yeah. the, oh, oh! the Thailand Open, this is the 37th Thailand Open, so it's, Three. it's been going oh. a long time, but it used to be a Grand Prix gold event. Under the World Tour system, it's now a 500 event. And of course, as you say, these two are special uh, Thailand Open Super 1000 events. Yeah, they are, and, and, and they're played in a, in a special arena. It's not the regular Thailand Open arena, so it's just like playing uh, uh, All England in a different Thailand. arena in yeah. Birmingham. Four, um, three. So uh, I don't think it's, they're thinking too much about it, but but um, it might be special if we come towards the end of this three tournament um, stretch here, and, and uh, someone has a chance to. To make a clean sweep, that would be a little bit like in uh, track and field where we have these uh, diamond Four. Uh, series and stuff like that. Save it over for all. Yes, quick. Well, the Koreans played in the last Thailand Open, Welcome. which was in 2019, and would you believe it, they had to qualify reached the quarter-final stage before losing to the eventual champions, Rocky Reddy and Shetty, in three games. But in the round of last 32, they had beaten the Five, number two seeds, four. Kimura and Sonoda, in three games. They obviously like playing here in Thailand. Yeah, and also we've seen uh, <coughs> over the past period where there was tournaments that... Um, oh, that's good reactions. It's landed in there. Uh, that, that the Korean Six, um, four. team management, they've, they've um, experimented with the um, different combinations in um, in the men's doubles. Trying to find the right um, solution for the upcoming Olympics. No Seven over. Five. Six. Well, I think they've probably found the right solution here because this bear has won two world tour events. The Korean Masters 300 of 2018 and the Hong Kong Open 2019. The Hong Kong Open was a Super 500 event. Yeah. That's a nice touch, isn't it? Seven, five. Eight, five. Turn of serve. Just brushed Seven over over. the top of the shuttle, Six, imparting eight. a bit of top spin. That's absolutely brilliant. Seven, four, four. Oh, service fault Too called. High. Too high. Seven, it's over. Nine. Six. He's got very Seven, heavy strapping nine. on his left knee as Choi Sil Gu. Doesn't seem to be hampering his movement no. at all. Nine. It's an interesting look on uh, Li Yang's face there. Unsatisfied with himself, but um, extremely solid in the flat game. Um, Choi and uh, Su. Normally, really good defense as well. Oh, oh. Really good 
put some uh, psychological pressure on uh, Chinese Taipei pair. Oh, that's a super shot. My goodness, the left-hander playing the straight drop shot. Quick. And Lee Yang left absolutely stranded, and we think of him as a really fast player. Look, that is delightful. So back level. Oh, oh. That's well played. brilliant. Ten, nine. Well, it's not only the technical skill to be able to play that shot, but the vision to see that's where the gap was. That's a couple of times that the pair from Taipei have been left stranded. Four straight points. Who's challenge here? Choice will do challenges. Call me. I thought it was in. Uh, here we go. Yeah. It was. Challenge unsuccessful. One I'm challenge. Continuing the streak. You know? I'm on a, oh, I'm on a bit of a roll yeah. here on time with my goal. challenges. Ten. Makes a pleasant oh. change anyway. <laughs> 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 what tournament was it I couldn't get one right? I can't remember there's so many to choose from. What's <laughs> 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 it? Yeah, nicely done. Set it over. Eleven. They're finding ten. gaps well the for Koreans yeah. at the moment. And they Deserve the advantage, albeit only a, a point advantage. Twenty seconds. What? Eleven, ten. Play. Ten. That's a nice interception by him. Choice of Joe. Very low racket from um, Li Yang in the uh, service return situation. On. Yeah, I, I think 13, he's about to get 10. really frustrated, uh, Li Yang. He's a guy who likes to take uh, a lot of chances on the front court, and, and here he's got to realize that one chance might not be enough because they're so solid in the defense, the two uh, Koreans. Requires patience. Seven of the last eight points to the Koreans. just get the impression so far, Steen, that the Koreans are finding more gaps and finding more weaknesses yep. in their opponents. Okay. 
both good mixed doubles players pretty much competing for the same Lee. partner in um, Che Yu Jung. What a good serve. Oh, and, uh, yeah, Li Yang and Wang Chun, they also ten. have played mixed doubles, just hasn't really had the uh, female talent uh, in their era in um, Chinese Taipei oh. to then it's over. really Eleven, make significant results in mixed doubles. Oh dear me. That said, Steen, when uh, I knew 15, that Seo Sung was in two semi-finals today, I was busy researching about the last time that players were in, a male player was in two finals, and the last player was Wang Chi Lin. Yeah. Super 300 event, yeah. New Zealand. Yeah. Won the doubles double. Won the mixed doubles with... Su Ya Ching. Yes. 16, 11. So 10 of the last 12 points now. But I think the Yang, he's he's totally lost it. I mean, he's firing at everything and he's playing a little bit with the drift, a drift that, uh, in my opinion, is more severe than it was um, at least yesterday. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So the drift is coming 18, towards 11. the Koreans at yes. the moment. Just managed to... Uh, Get a confirmation from uh, Morton Frost when we were switching positions here in the commentator's box. And he mentioned that he thought the sideways drift was um, perhaps also Four. a little bit extra today Seven than um, the other day's sideways 18. drift from uh, left to right. Interesting. That will perhaps give Li Yang a bit of confidence. That rally. Oh. Oh. He really is seeing the gaps. 19. Choice Ogu. Oh. Time he was quick on it. 15, the Yang. 19. Twenty. Game point. Fifteen. Always like to see a good rally win, uh, one on a winner rather than one on a, an error. Yeah. So game point opportunities for the number seven seeds from Korea. Oh, oh it's challenges come out. If they're right, it's game over. 
Game Sorry, over. Game perfect. Eight. What a perfect game. serve. First 21 15 Sorry, opening game. So sound giant. 21 15. To the number seven seeds, Choi Sil Gu and Su Seung J. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. So the coach for the pair from Chinese Taipei, Wang Chilin's former men's doubles partner Chen Hong Second Ling, Love and the coach for the Koreans, play. Kim Ji Hyun, who was beaten in the final of the women's singles competition here in 1996. Second goal. One long. Yeah, and she was she was a happy coach. Yeah, according to the time she spent Very with quick. the two players, and that's okay, guys. You're doing well. Do your thing. I'm gonna get some popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing much to say. No! Everything's according to plan. Too long. I was thinking about also we saw Chen Hongling here with the face mask on, and and there's some things missing because I mean the mimics of half a face is. Um, it's covered so the players can't see it. And I think it's a big thing of One, uh, a conversation two. to to uh, interpret the mimics. Mm. Left. I was thinking Three, that that last one. service there, the, the ace flick serve. Yeah. I mean, we, we know that there's some players that are really struggling, some doubles players that are struggling with their low serve. Wouldn't it be a possibility to take a step back, be a little bit more relaxed, and then sort of fire a flat shot uh, into the uh, service returner? Wouldn't that be a much more beneficial? Um, state than trying out your low serve or panicking with your Four, uh, one. Uh, flick serve and so on. Just starting out in the flat rally. I mean, at least you get it started and, and are not too much behind in the rally. I think I would recommend that to, to some of these players that are struggling. Yeah. But not necessarily to one of these. No, four. no, not, not when, when they're serving well. But, but uh, we saw, um, if you were with us in the previous. Um, Half of uh, the finals here, you would have seen uh, Gracia Poli who uh, switched to forehand serve, um, and um, Poli and Rahayu won the match, but the serve was not one of the reasons. Yeah. In my opinion, we've seen Gabby Atkak, who is Five, not here for two. these three tournaments, 
but there's several players that are struggling with their low serve in, in the doubles category. So, so why, don't, why don't think completely out of the box and, and say, okay, let's start with the flat rally. Well, I have to say, Choi Soo Gu has been very impressive so far today. Yeah. He's found the gaps, he's covered the net well. And I like that block defence as well and moved forward, changed the momentum of the rally. He's always come across to me as a player who is very alert and uh, had a fantastic work rate and uh, heart rate to work the long rallies. I, I think actually he reminds me a little bit of your uh, former partner in mixed doubles. Second world to a high. World champions team Flatberg. Second yeah. Over. yeah. Six, three. Called a fault for a second time for too high on his serve. It seems like uh, Wang Chilin Seven, and Li Yang they're three, feeling much more comfortable on this near side of the court here where they don't have to think too much about defense, they don't have to try and uh, maintain the uh, initiative and the attack all the time. It's, it's a whole different um, combination to watch here. Second over for seven. Goodness, that's quick from the uh, second over. A four. Five. Oh. Oh. Oh, yes, that didn't fool him second at all. Over. No, five. Eight. And dangerous doing that to a left hand or anyway. Yeah, and I mean, especially to two players that are as alert as Sue uh, and Choi are. Oh. And it's a very, very Six. good serve. Eight. Considering oh. he's made one service error and been faulted twice. Good serve. Oh. Mm, between the Nine, two players, six. both leaving it for the other. the pairs in the opposite uh, sides of the court it would definitely have gone long yeah so you're right Steen I think there's a more drastic drift today than there was yesterday yeah it's clever just clipping the shuttle down no Seven. real pace on Ten. it all about angle yeah Seven, seven. So a four-point advantage to Li Yang and Wang Chilin. Yeah, what was he thinking there? Seemed to stop after the return of serve, the left-hander. Most peculiar.
Well, it's been 15 years since a pair from Chinese Taipei reached the semi-final of the Thailand Open. <coughs> Feng Chiamin and Li Xian Mu. Do you remember them? They were a good pair. Eleven. They? What's them? Yeah, I remember them. Lee. Same moment. 8-11. You'll see that as a missed opportunity. Uh, that now for the Koreans, if they want to try and, and uh, finish this in uh, straight games, it's really important that they are alert in the service situation and patient. It's more important to keep control of the game, staying in balance. Uh, not control of the game, control of the rally. Staying in balance, you might have to work five or six shots extra. Either of them he could have left. 9, 11. The serve of Choi Soo Chiu almost looked a little bit to me like a table tennis serve. It just looked like it wasn't it? Real like a table tennis serve, but there were there were uh, things that reminded me of a table tennis serve. Oh! Seems like he was to slice it. nine. Below the um, shuttle. He's allowed to as long as he doesn't hit the feathers first. Yeah. Need a change of pace. Everything was hard there from the 14, Chinese time no. rate here. Won the rally in the end, but I can't help but wonder if a simple block may have helped. Look where the Koreans were defending there. Very deep stances. <coughs> Difficult to criticise, though, when they've won the rally. Yeah, and they've always done the, better than the Koreans. 14. Leon Day with his Aye. different partners and the former world champions Ko Sun Kyun and uh, Shin Big Chul likes to stand far back in the defense. Oh. Oh, good return of serve. Thank you, Tobin. 15, 10. I, I like the idea oh. of trying to uh, play a reasonably safe downward shot there from Susan J. Unfortunately, it wasn't safe at all. Save it over. 11, 16. Uh, if he can hit, or any of the two Koreans can hit these steep smashes in the beginning of their attacking situation, it's going to be difficult for Wang and Lee to control their replies if they're lifting. Oh, good defense. It's going wide! Oh, that, so was that, wasn't it? That was it? lucky, I think. What a rally! 
Oh, brilliant play from Saucy and Jay. One. Before the replay we saw there, there was this shot from Li Yang. It looked like a total miss hit. Lee. Come here. Three. You must get this in check. Get this quicker. That's best. No, I really didn't get what the umpire said. You, get. you must get ready. Well, I, I think I he knew that. Yeah. Well, surely it was Lee who was Lee Young. Well, I'm telling you, he doesn't want to it. Exactly. I'm not quite sure why the Koreans were involved in that. It's like telling off by the umpire. Did they challenge that? They just want to write. One talent remaining. What? 30, 16. Well, something we didn't mention on the head-to-head -head scene is that the fact that these two pairs played against each other in the second round of the last Thailand Open. And obviously with the Koreans getting through to the quarter-final stage, they must have won that second round encounter. Yeah. 21-19, 22-20. Well, it's a close match. Same as over. 14. And I just feel that the Koreans are working their way back into this second game. Yeah, the, the thing is, will they catch them? Will they catch them here in the second game? <coughs> There's not a lot of room for error. Oh! No, that's well done. Same as Bowman. 18, 14. I think that's simply what we saw in the first game with Li Yang and, and Wang Chilin. They were, they were nervous about the drift. They feel that they could play their shots freely. Who chose ends? I didn't see it. Yeah, it's well taken by Li Yang. Nine and now, 14. the number six seeds from Chinese Taipei, just two points away from taking this second game. Four. Make that one point away. And he's covering that one Game really point. well, for Li Yang. After his um, serve, the third shot there. Not the first time he's moved to his forehand side. That's gone long. Game. It's one game all. Second game, Bombay. 21 14, the second one game. In favour of Li Yang one and Wang Chilin. Thank you. 
20 seconds, 20 seconds. So everything to play for in this third and deciding game. Final game. Love all. Play. Oh yes. One. So Steen, given some of your comments earlier on in this match, uh, I would assume that the number six seeds from Chinese Taipei want to try and hit in a downward direction from that faster end. I would think so as well. At least a good flat. Very alert by Li Yang two here. Long. First two rallies and you can see the Koreans, they're trying to put a little bit of pressure on Wang Chilin playing flat towards his long uh, forehand corner. Yes, that's quick again from Li Yang. Three long. He's alert, Li Yang. He's creating yeah. the opportunity for Four, Wang Chilin. Yes, he's found his confidence, yep. which was lacking in the opening game, wasn't it? You talked about him getting frustrated. Yeah. See, there's the service return again towards the long no! time. Oh, that's way in. What on earth was he Five, thinking? Love. Second over. One, five. Second oh, so too high. Called. That's the third time he's been faulted Second on the serve for too high. Six, uh, one. It, it has looked high. Yeah, it's very high in yeah. my opinion. Yeah. That's no, a good spot by the service judge. Oh! Wow. Seven, one. Li Yang and Wang Chilin are running away with this yeah, at the moment. And, and they don't seem to have ideas, the Koreans. Oh, let's go. They're going. Seven, Eight out of ten service Two, returns, they're going seven. for Wang Chilin. Which seems like um, a good idea, but it hasn't really created so much for them here in the third game. Well, Li Yang is very casual as he's waiting to receive service, he is. isn't he? And there's no sort of threat. No. Oh, just long. Three, seven. I remember Park Dubong, in my era, was had his racket right up and as yeah. near to the net as possible. It was very intimidating serving yeah. to him. That's a, nice. That's a very good serve. Thank you. Yeah, I think it's different from, from player to player. Um, Li Yang is not one of the tallest players, so. Four, seven. Yeah, if his game plan is to just play it either flat or block it straight yeah, across the Look where his racket is, look yeah. at it. He's still playing good shots. Yeah, well intercepted. Eight, very, very four. alert at the net. I think uh, Go Shem and 
Tenry Kyung, they're rooting more for the Koreans. They have a really good score against them, whilst they're behind against uh, the pair from Chinese Taipei. Mm, seemed to go down quite heavily there, Wang Thank Chilin. What? Five, eight. defence, isn't it? Flat over the net, but shuttle landing at the mid-court area. Yeah, and that was, in, in the first game, it looked like um, the Koreans, they could easily play the defence. And uh, Wang and Lee, they got a little bit um, carried away, and here in the beginning of the third, they've tried to play flat, the Koreans, and it um, hasn't really been that successful, but let's see if they can come back now. Yeah, like it's, uh, oh. They're much more ah. in the flat than uh, one Nine. than they were in the Six. first game. Oh, that's gone wide. Oh, my goodness. Hey, Yang. Ten, Had to leap six. the advertising boards there. Turn of the flick serve, no! and what seven a magnificent goal. smash seven. to finish off the rally from so Wang Chilin. Seven. Seven. Okay, Inter it wasn't ten, the deepest ten. of lifts that one, but he put that away so efficiently. Eleven-seven, the advantage as they change ends in this deciding game. <laughs> And given the fact that the pair from Chinese Pei, Taipei, seem to play better from this near side of the court as we're looking downstream, the side of the court that they're going to finish the match on, they must be favourites now. I think they're the favourites now. And thinking back of the quick coaching between the first and the second game by um, the Korean coach, there might have been uh, a need for, for some more, but. I don't think Kim Ji Hyun is um, a regular men's doubles coach. I think a number of the nations here Eleven, in, um, seven. in Bangkok, they Eleven. have um, elected not to bring the full coaching squad that they normally travel to tournaments with because they have to stay in uh, first the quarantine and then the bubble for so long. So you simply can't uh, bring all your coaches. Not only that, of course, they've got the uh, trials for the national team yeah. back in Korea and uh, presumably all the uh, a number of the coaches uh, feel that uh, that's more important to decide who's going to be in the national team uh, in the coming year. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that's a, a big miss by Lee Yang. Eight, eleven. So what we basically can expect is that it's only Olympic bound shuttles from uh, Korea and independent ones that are present here in. Yeah, exactly. I don't suppose the Olympic bound shuttles would get expelled from the national team uh, <laughs> seven months before. No! 
Oh, that's a good serve. 13, 8. Didn't aim for the tee. Aimed towards the right shoulder of Choi Seo Gu. Yeah. Subtle differences in the placement of the serve can... Yeah. Very clever. Oh yes, he's too alert for that. That's a new shot eight. from the left-hander. Yeah, and he's slipping away for uh, the Koreans. If they wanted to have a chance to come back here, they needed to swing the momentum after the change of ends. Four. Seven over. No, Nine. Time. Fourteen. Former English national coach Andy Wood is uh, working on a book on the subject of momentum. I've been allowed to, uh, to read it and <laughs> I'm not finished yet. I'm a little bit embarrassed, but uh, it's very, very good. And I think without knowing the score line here, you would be able to tell who was ahead Ten more or less yeah. by the body language. Nine. If you were allowed to look at... Um, Four to five rallies from the different periods of the game. Yeah, well worked. Sixteen nine. Well, they're on a march at the moment. Yes. Yeah. Simply can't see the Koreans turning this around. How much do you think the fact that So Young Jae uh, has already played today, and that hour and 15 minutes had two match point opportunities in his mixed doubles? Psychologically, has that affected him? Physically, has that affected him? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think we've seen signs that it's the um, physicality that is um, deciding this here. No. But uh, did, did look at his body language yeah, after this yeah. error. But but it, it does take a toll on players to play two categories because instead of uh, sleeping in in the morning and preparing for this match with his partner, he had to prepare another match with his Ten partner, partner Che Jung. Ten. And then after that 17. match, probably rush back to the hotel, try and get some what? lunch, get a shower, clean clothes, what? and then start thinking about this match. So yeah. So, I mean, he, he couldn't start thinking about this match yesterday evening because he had to focus on the mixed up. Yeah, my goodness. Two off the floor from Wang Chi Lin. Uh, his string's gone, I think. The left-hander, Su so Sang Jae, who's looking at his racket, played the drop shot, and yeah, yeah. oh yeah, he's gone. How on earth did they finish that rally? Oh, it's not gone. Yeah. But he was obviously concerned about his racket because he, in the middle of the rally, <laughs> he was he was looking down at his racket head. Thank you. I think that might be the longest one of the match so far. Eight. Had a rally of 31 shots in the second game. Seven, over. 18, 11. Well, it's surprising to me after watching the first game here, but it's all but uh, I mean, it's not undeserved at all. We've seen them play well throughout this tournament. We saw them um, be fairly uh, convincing against the Danes. That was the first time in this tournament we we saw them play, and, and they followed up on on that performance. Since then, Li and Wang. Send it over. 
QL 18. Who well, in that turn probably was quite satisfied <laughs> that um, Choi and Seal disposed of um, Asan and Sechuan yeah. yesterday because they don't have that good a score against the Indonesians. That's why it's so fantastic with badminton. Different kind of matchups. Different styles suit yeah. different opponents. Oh. Well, it's still possible, not probable, but possible. It is. How many points does it take before they start thinking? Two yeah. Four, two, 15, 18. Well, that's a good return. Take it off. 19, 13. Three points, two points away from our first ever Super 1000 final for Li Yang and Wang Chi Lin. Well taken, it's match point opportunities. 20, match point, 13. Well, considering they lost the last three encounters between these two pairs, pair from Chinese Taipei, they have done remarkably well. Oh. Second over. 14, 20. Yeah, I agree. Totally agree. I um, I had the Koreans as uh, small favourites going into this match, partly because of their head-to-heads, but also because I saw a little bit of them yesterday, and they looked really strong. Yeah. So second match point. <laughs> this time, the number six seeds Li Yang and Wang Chilin close out this semi-final beating Man number Mumbai, seven seeds Choi So Gu and, and Su Sang Jae. Needed 21, three games, 14, needed to come back from 14. a game deficit uh, before winning in 54 minutes. Uh, to me that was a, a tired looking shot from the left-hander. Mentally tired. 15-21, 21-14, 21-14 in the deciding game and Li Yang and Wang Chilin through to their first ever Super 1000 final. So that's the scene outside and coming up next we have home interest. It's women's doubles and Kitty Harakun and Prajong Jai up against Kim So Young and Kong Hee Young.
Well, it's a beautiful venue, isn't it? The Impact Arena. Excellent.